All right, significant figures in scientific notation. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is significant figures here. And a really good way of illustrating this is to take these two scenarios. One where we've got a really large number, and one where we've got a really small number. So imagine I'm super rich, and I own 76,301,080,980 dollars. And 43 cents. Now, if I was the media and I was advertising how much money this rich person has, they would not bother reading out the whole number. What they would do is they would simplify it and they might go, all right, let's just take the seven and six, make the rest into zeros. We won't worry about anything after the decimal point. And we'll just say that this guy, this rich guy, has $76 billion. That's enough. We don't need to read all the numbers. Now, what essentially they have done is they have picked the two most significant figures, the seven and the six. And that's what we're learning about today is rounding to the what is called significant figures. It can also be applied with decimals. For instance, if we're talking about a very small weight, such as the weight of a cell, it might be 0 0.0000359802301090 kilograms. Once again, the media aren't going to bother reading out that whole number. They might go as far as just keeping the 3 and the 5 and going at 0 0.000035 kilograms. And once again, we've rounded to two significant figures.